we're going to discuss scientific innovations and responsibility. Scientific innovations are advances that make our lives easier and better. They can be advances in the scientific, the technical, the technological fields, for example. Responsibility is when you get involved in an action, when you take part in an action for which you can get credit if you did something good or for which you can be blamed if you did something bad. Our question will be, what are the issues raised by scientific innovations and how do we respond to the problems that are created by scientific innovations. We will first discuss the benefits of innovation, then we will move on to harmful consequences and the dangers of scientific innovations, and finally we will move on to responsibility and actions and how we respond to the problems that we created. But first, the benefits of innovation. Men have always wanted to improve their living conditions and the history of humanity is marked by revolutions and breakthroughs which allowed us to live better. Be it with the development of modern agriculture which allowed us to feed the masses or the industrial revolution which allowed men to create machines uh, in order to uh, do the harmful and dangerous work for them or the development of vaccines, for example, which allowed us to nearly eradicate certain diseases. Scientific innovation has always helped us to live with more comfort, to live safely and uh, to live in better conditions, all in all. However, there are harmful consequences to scientific innovation. Indeed, Scientific innovations have an impact on the planet and on humanity. Global warming is one example. Global warming refers to the rise of temperature on the planet, the global rise of temperatures in the world, and it is a threat to humanity and to biodiversity in the world. Our industry is partly responsible for this rise of temperature so that in fact scientific innovation has a negative consequence on the planet. The fact that we live in better health than before has another consequence which is overpopulation. Overpopulation basically means that there are too many people on earth and that the earth cannot support as many people as there are today. Overpopulation is another consequence. Scientific innovation allow, allows us to live in better health and the development of medicine has reduced mortality in the world. But the problem is that now there are more and more people on Earth and uh, the population actually exceeds the Earth's capacity. Finally, our use of fossil fuels in the industry, for example, has terrible consequences on the planet. With, for example, pollution, the destruction of marine habitat, or again, respiratory diseases for humans. And so the fact that fossil fuels are not sustainable and pollute a lot are a result of scientific innovation. Now let's move on to the last part of this presentation, which is responsibility and action. When we consider the problems that are raised by scientific innovation, it is important to consider the ethical aspect of scientific innovation and to reflect upon what we can do in order to um, basically make the planet better. At the individual scale, citizens can act for example, by consuming differently. This is why nowadays more and more people turn to direct distribution when they buy their fruit and vegetables. This is also why there is a surge in um, the consumption of organic products. And for example, people can decide to travel differently in order to reduce their impact on the planet, for example, by not taking the plane. At a larger scale, scientists and government can also act. 
And one example of this would be green building. Green building is a new scientific innovation which consists in creating environmentally friendly buildings. For example, building it in which you're going to use solar panels or rain gardens um, in order to reduce the ecological impact of building on the planet. Finally, associations and NGOs, that is to say non-governmental organizations, can raise the awareness of the population concerning the problems that are raised by scientific innovation. One example would be Sea Shepherd, which is an NGO which fights for um, marine wildlife conservation. Basically, Sea Shepherd is present on the sea in order to denounce the way that we fish uh, as humans. And they're going to denounce um, the slaughter of dolphins, for example, or the way um, fishing destroys uh, the marine habitat. So as we could see, there are many benefits to scientific innovation because scientific innovation allows us to live better. But scientific innovation also has terrible consequences on the planet. And it is, import it is important for us to take our responsibility and to act in order to solve the problems that we created. <laughs>